All right, let's use the rational zeros theorem to find the rational zeros of this polynomial. So we have f of x equals 2x cubed plus x squared minus 4x plus 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to list out the possible rational zeros. So the possible rational zeros. What we want to do is we want to use the, co uh, the constant term, list out its um, ways to be factored, and then the leading coefficient, the two out here, let's list both of those off to the side and list out all the different ways to factor them. So one, we can only factor as one times one or negative one times negative one. Don't concern yourself too much about the positives and negatives. We're gonna use both positive and negative for all of these. And then the two, nice prime number, can be either one times two or two times one, maybe some negatives thrown in. Again, don't worry about it. Okay, from here, let's go ahead and set these up as rational zeros. So one over one, the order matters here. It's always uh, factors the constant over factors the leading coefficient. So one over one makes one. One over two makes one half. Now we're not allowed to switch this up and go two over one. That's not a possibility because the order is incorrect. Now I'm gonna list these out with plus and minus out in front of my set notation. But really this means we have four different possibilities. Positive one, negative one, positive one half, negative one half. And let's jump into testing these out. We only have four possibilities. So you can start wherever you want with those four values. Um, I'm going to start with one, and I'm going to use synthetic division to help out. So for synthetic division, I'm going to put one up above, one on the outside here, and then I'm going to take each one of these coefficients. Now, it doesn't look like we skipped over any powers of x, so I don't need a placeholder. If you did skip over, say, x to the second power, you'd want to put a zero x to the seconds in its place. All right, so two ones out in front here, negative four and positive one. And then let's bring the two down and then multiply. One times two makes two. Add one plus two makes three. Multiply one times three makes three. Add negative four plus three makes negative one. And then finally, multiply one times negative one makes negative one, add those, you get a zero. This is what we're looking for, by the way, is our remainder is going to be zero. All right, um, in testing these other ones, I don't think we end up with zero with any of them. But let's take a look at um, the division algorithm says you can rewrite f of x as the divisor. Since we tested positive one, we were actually dividing by x minus one. So x minus one goes as our divisor. And then we want to multiply this by the quotient. Well, the quotient can be found down here at the bottom line of our synthetic division. The quotient is actually listed out here if we understand how to read this, that this is a constant for the negative one. This is an x to the first power term, and this is an x to the second power. So 2x squared plus 3x minus one would be the quotient and then plus a remainder at the end, we can leave off the plus zero. Now looking at our quotient, what's in the second set of parentheses here, we'd wanna kind of say to ourselves, is there any way to factor this any further? Well, with where we're at right now, I don't think we have any good ways to factor this, um, you know, just doing it by hand. So we still wanna figure out when that equals zero. Um, we could test these other rational zeros, but let's figure out all of our zeros. Now we found out one is gonna be a, a rational zero because um, it gave us a remainder of zero, gave us this factor. Let's find our other zeros, even though I don't think they're gonna be any more rational zeros because we can't factor this any further in a nice manner um, by using the uh, by th or using yeah the, the quadratic formula. So I wanna know when does this equal zero? So I'm going to go A is going to be 2, B is going to be 3, and C is going to be negative 1. So we're going to get solutions when that equals 0. When we plug in negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times A times C all over 2A. So with a little bit of simplifying down here, I think we can find the rest of our the rest of our zeros, even if they're not rational zeros. So this will make nine. Let me see, the double negative makes plus eight more, makes 17 under here, all over four.
right, and that's a big fraction. So um, negative three is in the numerator of this fraction. So we've got two more zeros here. Now we can't classify them as rational zeros because of this radical hanging out here. If we did test negative one, positive one half, and negative one half, um, they don't work using synthetic division to get a uh, remainder of zero. So one happened to be the only one that worked out, giving us a nice remainder of zero. So we can say for sure that we have zeros, the one rational zero at one, but then we also had negative three minus the square root of 17 over four, and negative three plus the square root of 17 all over four. Um, so three different zeros, but the only rational one is gonna be that one. All right, hope this helps out on using synthetic division um, and finding possible rational zeros and which ones actually work. Good luck.